Uh, I'm a painter, uh, friends with Patty, uh, Patty AAP on YouTube, and we're doing a collaboration. I'm so excited about this. Patty is a wonderful painter. She does fluid acrylics. Um, please, if you already are not subscribed to her, please go out and check out her channel. I'll put information at the end of the video, um, as well as um, all on the description below um, about how to get at Patty's channel, and you'll see uh, she does some beautiful work. And she's bilingual. She's uh, out of Mesa, Arizona. And Patty does these wonderful fluid pours. She's developed a very non-toxic way of painting, and it's quite exciting. So she and I have become friends on YouTube, and we decided we'd do a collaboration together. Our work, if you're familiar with both of us, is um, they're very different. The work is very different from each other. I do uh, paintings and also an acrylic. But I do, um, I do paintings in a style called Taoism. Patty was really excited to learn more about Taoism and try the technique. And what I did in response is I created a painting um, inspired by painting uh, Patty's motion, her fluid motion, her fluid lines of her acrylic pores. And there's one um, in particular that uh, really inspired me: her colors and the forms and the use of the of the swirling activity. Uh, so if you if you look at that, you can see definitely see the tie between our work. So um, I'm going to talk a little bit about Taoism and share a little bit about what I'm doing, and then and let's talk about Patty, and then you can see um, what she did with Taoism, and she did it in her own style, and it's it's actually pretty exciting. So I'm going to talk a little bit about here about the uh, colors that I'm using. So this is just a Masterson Stay Wet palette, and inside I have here. Uh, I'll show you the colors. So we have uh, Daxidine Purple. Just hold that back up here. We've got Daxidine Purple. We've got uh, Diorylite Yellow. Of course, Titanium White. You've got to have Titanium White. Uh, Mars Black. These are the colors I used in this painting. Uh, light Ultramarine Blue. Turquoise Thalo, which is a really that really pretty kind of uh, bright green color. Green Gold. Napthal Red Light. And I think that's everything. Oh, yeah. And uh, Yellow Ochre. So, uh, and then this gray. I just mixed up these other colors using some of these original colors. And I'll just demonstrate what I'm doing here is I'm applying paint with uh, palette knives and with spoons. I begin first with a completely, just a blank uh, canvas, a white canvas. I'll, I'll tone it with yellow ochre, fluid yellow ochre, let that dry, and then I'll go in and uh, lay out the composition the way I'd like to see it. And when that's all done, then, and, and then paint a full color underpainting just with uh, paintbrushes, then when that's done, I'll go in and add uh, the paint. And you can hear, if you look over, and see where they're, my little birds, Romeo and Gershio, are over there in, in their cockatiels. And Romeo's singing us a little song while we paint. So this is, uh, what I've done is I just have the paint and just apply it with the palette knives. And what ends up happening is we create a low relief sculpture effect in the paint. And the term is the name of the, of the art term that I developed. I developed this technique in 2000. And it's called Daubism for the daubs of paint, which leave a three dimensional effect on the canvas. And I'm going to go over to the other side and um, paint over here so the, when the light comes in, you can see the texture a little bit better. But what this does is this creates a kind of a mosaic or a low relief effect in paint right onto the canvas. And so Patty, what Patty did is she took one of her fluid acrylic paintings as a baseline and then she did a texture effect on the top. And it's really kind of neat to see how the painting, in the same way that when I go from just a flat painting, just a smooth flat painting, to adding the texture, uh, there's a whole new dynamic involved with that. So we'll just get another mark right here. So here I'm applying the paint, and I just apply it with a knife, and I'm aiming to leave a mark on the canvas, which is, there we go, just a gentle mark. 
that's going to leave a cupped form. And then when the cupped form, when the light hits it, it will uh, create kind of a uh, kind of a sparkle effect, which is always nice. Sparkle is always good, right? So just a little bit of color there. And then I'm also being sure to, um, with my colors, I'm being sure to have a combination of uh, warm colors and cool colors. And then also um, I'm thinking about um, these dabs of paint, making them different sizes, different shapes. And I'm using the direction of where I put the strokes. So like I'm making a swirl effect here. Um, and this all contributes to the effect of the swirling pattern. There we go. But doing this technique is very uh, relaxing. I just keep putting more texture on until the painting says, the painting tells me that it's done. There we go. So just going to take a little bit of this red and add that to the sky. I can use the same tool to make tiny little marks as I can use to make the larger marks as well. All right, and I wipe off uh, each time I'm wiping off with a uh, with a paper towel just to keep the the knife clean. Gonna get a little dab of this diorolite yellow. We'll get a little dab of him. There we go. And there. each time wiping off the knife. Now I'll get just a little bit more. Let's just get a little, one more, maybe one more dab of the white. You can see I used there, I can make a large mark with the same tool. There we go. And I think it's neat that Patty, uh, Patty translates. She has her uh, videos in English as well as in Spanish, which I think is a neat, uh, that's a wonderful thing. So let's take one more look at Patty's work up close. Look how pretty that is. So now when Patty was starting with the Dow Bism project, what she did is she created an abstract floral uh, using her acrylic pour method. And then she used that as the basis for her Dow Bism work. And I think Patty did a really good job isolating the colors, creating marks with that characteristic cup shape that'll catch the light and she achieved an overall really neat organic form, a very abstract floral using her method and adding Daubism on the top of it. It's super dramatic and it's a really touchable statement and I think she did a great job. So I'll say well done, Patty. Well, thank you so much for watching the collaboration of Dina Tollefson and Patty AAP. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, Dina Tollefson, if you haven't already, and also be sure to subscribe to Patty's channel. And I'll have a link again uh, in the description, and then uh, there'll be a card showing up here at the end. But I appreciate your support, and thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Dina Tollefson. Bye-bye, and adios, and gracias.